Okay, I got the scope on. It's got some problems. The uh, the intensity doesn't work half the time. Beamfinder kind of works. Uh, when I first turned it on, all the channels were on. <laughs> um, calibrator doesn't seem to work. Um, times per division seems to work, but it's it's like it's like the whole scope doesn't have enough power or something's dying on it so I turned it off for a second hopefully it'll come back up when I turn it back on to show you what I was talking about um, it definitely has some issues uh, let's see if I can get it to come back uh, I, I think it's probably got a power supply problem in it and that's what's going on with it uh, as you can see it's taking its time a normal uh, TD, or a normal uh, Tektronix uh, 2000 series uh, would have would be doing all this by now, and it's just taking its own sweet time. Uh, I did go ahead and I played with these. These are working. The measurement functions appear to be working. Um, <coughs> so the intensity control was working. It was kind of up and down uh, this did change uh, the measurements changed uh, for the vertical bars all right I got something there for a second uh, let me turn the intensities down here we go maybe they're drawing too much power okay there we go we have something it's like the beam finder was stuck there it goes well it tried to come back out oh, there it is okay so we I think we got an intermittent switch here more than likely what's going on this thing had sat up so long that uh, that it's got some corrosion built up in it uh, okay so anyways here's your uh, your time measurement let's try to focus this better here's your time measurement uh, I can go ahead and uh, do track on it I'm supposed to be able to do track I guess it doesn't want to track Oh, that's right. You got to use the left one for that. Okay, so this appears to be working. Uh, you can go uh, voltage on it. It appears to be working and taking measurements. Don't know how accurate they are, but it's taking it. So we can go back to uh, you push double this after that, and it'll give you frequency. And the frequency does change with the times per division. So I know that circuit's working. Um, it's like it's like the trace for the uh, uh, for everything. It just it seems dirty. This is way oversensitive. See, I mean, it just kind of jumps down there and jumps up. It sh it should be a lot smoother. So there's there could be either a voltage issue there or maybe some kind of differential amplifier and some circuits aren't filtering. Let's try channel two. Okay, channel two seems to be working. Uh, let's go ahead and try uh, channel three. Check it down. Well, let me turn channel channel two off. Let's see if I can get it to to move up. It does move. It's kind of funky, but it moves. All right, so let's go channel four. Turn three off, and it's moving. <coughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get some in some readout. No, no readout. Nothing. So I'll just turn that down. Looks like I'm out of focus now. So the focus is working. Uh, obviously the cow does not seem to be working. It doesn't seem to make any difference whether I have it on or off here. So. This is odd. It's like when I turn the uh, readout intensity up, it goes away. And the aluminum, the aluminum, which is the scale, this should it should glow kind of an orangish red. It's it's not working. So there's an issue there. Uh, let's see. Let's check ground. Ground doesn't seem to care whether it's in ground. AC, same thing. DC ground. 50 ohm. Oh, it kicked out. Did not like that. All right, let's go check. Uh, let's go check channel. Well, let's see how many channels I can get on it at one time. 
Well, it's bleeding out. It's bleeding down. Alright. Uh, let's do chop. Okay, I'm in chop, so it likes that. It doesn't like the alternate. Alright, so there's channel one. There's channel two. Here's channel three, and here's channel four. Right here somewhere. Come on, where are you? It's really twitchy. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> channel one, there we go. Channel two, it's jumping all over the place. So it looks like I have some issues to take care of with it. Um, I'll pop it open, go through the uh, troubleshooting charts, and uh, look at it. The first thing I will actually do is I'll go in and I'll uh, make sure it's, everything's clean, all the connections are good. That that solves a lot of problems with most uh, electronic equipment that's been sitting around. I can tell it's been sitting around because there's dust uh, all over the screen here. Whoever had it before obviously didn't care if it ever worked again or if it was taken care of. So. Anyways, I'll let you know what happens.